Have you ever left a meeting or a conversation thinking, oh my gosh, what just happened there? I started talking and I didn't know how to stop, so I just kept on talking and then I lost my point and then I didn't know how to stop, so I just kept on talking and then I felt like an idiot. I know the feeling. Rambling and rambling, it's a lose-lose. You lose attention and you lose impact. So these three techniques have really helped me to cut the fluff and get to the point. The first one is the 45 second technique. You choose five common topics that you can speak about, put your timer to 45 seconds, and then when the timer goes off, you stop talking. This will help you to get a sense of time when you're speaking, but also it forces you to speak in chunks so that you keep the audience's attention. This is definitely a technique that most people hate in the beginning, but the more you practice it, the more you'll love it because you'll see the results. The second thing is that when we're nervous, we tend to overcompensate. We tend to speak too fast. We tend to speak too much because we think it's smarter to talk more. But the opposite is true. Silence is power. Take a breath, relax, calm down, use breathing techniques. My favorite one is the box breath. Imagine a box, four squares. So you count to four, breathe in, hold your breath, count to four, breathe out, count to four, count to four and start over again. If you practice this, this will become an automatic thing to do and you will be more calm and more confident when you're speaking. We're also nervous because we're usually afraid to forget our lines. And the best way to practice that is to memorize and rehearse intensely. But the way to memorize best, I'll put a link to that video that I made about that right below this video. So go and check that out. The third technique is the three bullet technique. By the way, if you like this content, can you please hit the like button? Thank you so much. So the three bullet technique is you start with a main key message. The way to think about a key message, one key message, is think about a subject line. When you write an email, what do you put in a subject line? It's only one sentence, it's only a few words. Or what I love is when I did my TEDx talks, TEDx is all about one idea word spreading. So my coach at the time, he forced me like, okay, what's the message, Rachel? What's your idea word spreading? So what's your one key message? Then divide your one idea in three bullets and then pause after each bullet. I heard somebody once say, think of delivering a speech like a gymnast doing a flip-flop. They do the flip-flop and then they stand still. That's a great way to deliver a speech. Now, if you do catch yourself rambling, then don't be afraid to just say out loud, oh my gosh, I'm rambling here. Let me just refocus and get back to the point. And when you say this, it shows confidence. But if you want even more confidence, then make sure to check out this next video because it's filled with tips to grow your confidence and speak with an impact.